Hi, um, so today I want to do just kind of like a random playing around with makeup type of video. Doing makeup looks, playing around with makeup, and I haven't done that for a while. I know I've been doing a lot of like celebrity, celebrity inspired looks lately. I just thought that it's kind of interesting to kind of, you know, try to recreate the looks that celebrities wore to the red carpet. Um, I don't just do like random celebrities, I only do makeup that I think that I will probably wear or I think it looks pretty nice on the celebrities. Not that those are my favorite celebrities or anything, it's just that uh, whenever there, a celebrity wears some kind of makeup that caught my eye, that catches my eyes and I feel like um, it's something fun uh, or nice and interesting, I will do that. So. Um, unless, you know, like, people request certain looks. Uh, a lot of stuff I got from last year's eye mats, I haven't even touched them. I think I only did a haul video, but I, I didn't even do blog posts, I didn't do swatches, I didn't even use them. And I've been wanting to use them, so I thought that since I'm back on doing makeup tutorials, might as well just play around with those untouched products. Um, so today I wanted to kind of just... Uh, play around with I don't I don't know like pastel kind of colors um to help me kind of like start starting with this kind of like go with the flow type of um, makeup look I thought I would pick a lip color that I want to wear not necessarily outside because uh, I have to go to the Y later to work out so I don't think it's a good idea for me to wear full face makeup to go work out um, so I decided to pick a, uh, a lip color that I wanted to work with or I've been dying to try or whatever um, and then kind of just like work around that lip color you know so basically um, I guess with these type of like random makeup videos I will usually just pick one color or one item and uh, something that I really want to work with and then I'll just work around with this is like a really nice kind of like a I don't know, it's like a pastel blue. I feel like it's kind of like a sky blue, but they call it pool boy. Maybe it's kind of like more of a pool color. Uh, but I, I don't know, remind me of like a sky blue. But it's kind of like a pastel on the pastel side. Um, so I thought maybe I'll use some of the um, sugar pills eyeshadows that I have. The most of them are like all like um, pressed eyeshadows. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll incorporate some loose eyeshadows from um, my stash. So yeah, so let's do the lips first. So I'm going to use the Color Bucket Flash Pop of Jeller in blue. I got this from one of those Mimi boxes and I really like it and I bought a whole bunch of more because they are really really like waterproof, long lasting. Um, so yeah, it's like a super bright blue, uh, a bit darker than the pool boy one, but I think it'll work. Use the OCC lip brush, um, got a whole bunch of these cause you know, So there's just a very nice little thin layer of it. So I'm just gonna use the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Eye Base instead because it is quite of a uh, light pinkish kind of uh, look color and it helps the eyeshadow stay put and it dries matte. Okay, so for the first, um, I'm first gonna use Kitten Parade. I really like this color. Uh, I love this on the cheeks because it's like such a nice peachy pink with golden shimmer and it's so soft and gives a really pretty glow. So I'm definitely gonna incorporate this on my cheeks. I did a tutorial with all these new eyeshadows, the pressed ones, um, 
four of them because I don't have the palette I just have them individually since I got them from last year's eye mats um, so I'm definitely going to use this on my cheeks but right now I'm going to use this on my crease in my crease you use a brush just like the regular eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply this color in the crease um, you know I just want to add a bit of a warmth to the look since the um, blue is so cool toned so just want to add this in the crease to warm up the look a little bit and then also since it has a bit of like a um, peachy kind of color it's complementary to blue Let's dust off whatever is remaining on the brush uh, now I'm going to use this color called frosting which is this it's kind of like a matte um, purple or matte lilac lavender color um, but it does have a slight sheen to it so I would say it's kind of like a satin matte so I want to pack this color on the main lid So you see it's a really nice wash of like lavender on the eyes. I really 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 like it. I have an orange eyeliner and it's really bright so I thought that I would use this on, on my lower waterline as well. And again this is by Color Bucket. I got this from the Mimi Box website. They're like $10 each which is like not bad at all for the staying power that they have. So I'm just going to apply this on the lower waterline. For my lower, oh, okay, I want to deepen up the outer corner a little bit, so I'm going to use this um, sort of like a plum purple color called 2AM from the Heartbreaker palette, um, and I'm going to use a um, smaller, like a pencil brush. going to use the same brush we used earlier and kind of bl blur out the edges a little bit. I'm gonna use Kitten Parade again and I'm going to just use the same brush. Um, use a little bit of that to blend out the orange shadow on the lower lash line. Like I need to add a little bit of that same plum color. Just right on the outer lower part. I have Lumi, which I can probably use this on the um this is kinda like um I guess it's like a white base with um, teal turquoise uh, dual chrome finish too. Just going to use like a dual fiber brush. I don't want to pick up too much. So I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. To add another layer of shimmer to the look. Really nice. The Maybelline Doll Mania uh, mascara. Um. So this just give some separations to the lashes and make them a little bit darker. Um. Hmm. All right. I'm going to apply a cream blush from Inglot and this is Inglot cream blush in 86 which is kind of like a muted rose peachy rose type of like blush it's a cream blush so okay I'm going to use a Dalim to 787 it's like a big blending brush but I'm gonna use this for cheek color anyway because I didn't powder my face yet so should be alright uh, 
Yeah, just take some and then take some out on the back of my hand. Oh man, I picked up a lot. Um, kind of using this color to contour as well, I guess. I just want something neutral on the face. Kind of just toning down the look a little bit. So it's not too harsh. And then I'm going to apply some of the Kitten Parade eyeshadow. Because I said I definitely want to use this. So I'm just going to apply some of this. A dual fiber brush. Um, mainly kind of just right above the blush, the cream blush and then gives a bit of a highlight on my face it's kind of like help setting that cream blush at the same time as you can see it just gives a really nice strong glow um, use the same brush that I used Lumi earlier and just clean off and apply a little bit of this the peach color really doesn't show up you know like it might show up a little bit more um um more fair skin tone but on me it just adds a really nice like golden sheen to it so just highlight it um the nose area oh wait what am i gonna do with my brows use a brow gel mascara with like a golden sheen to it I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use this one instead. So this eyebrow gel has a bit of like um, like a golden sh metallic look to it, so that's why it's still kind of soft, and um, that's why it's not gonna overpower the entire look. Uh, anyway, so this is my finished look. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this fun uh, pastel type of kind of look. Um, yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.